Hi guys, welcome back to Jess Claire Creates. Today I have a scrapbook layout and this is using my counterfeit kit challenge kit. I am super excited to be this month's guest designer and this layout we are doing a challenge. This is our first challenge this month and it is to use one of the sentiments as a journaling prompt. So we are counterfeiting the Studio Calico Lost River kit from last September, September 2016. And in the Project Life cards, there were loads of great sentiments. So one that I always remember is, I can't go because I don't want to, <laughs> um, which is great, but I didn't have any photos that kind of fitted with that, but I did have some that fitted with love this place. One of the sentiments on the cards that I'm going to use as my journaling prompt. So I'm using some paper. I think that is simple stories with the colored splodges. Um, and this, which is a weird texture, paper this black and white and I'm going to use that um as a border but I'm not going to use as much as what you can see there because it kind of limits the space a bit so I've got some photos from our trip to Northern Ireland and we went to visit the Giants Causeway and so this is why I'm telling the story about a place that I loved um, so I'm just backing them onto some green pattern paper so now that my photos have a background I'm just going to trim this colored paper down a little bit um, and stick it onto this frame that I've created I didn't need the border to be as big as it was so now I've just created a very thin border so I'm just going to stick that with some double-sided tape and I can then use the inside that I've cut out for something else so I have brought in some alphas and these are not the ones that were in my counterfeit kit if you've seen my unboxing and that is because the ones that I had in my kit there was only one letter of there was only one of each letter so I needed to add in some more alphas I don't use them very often so I didn't feel like I needed them in my kit um, and I might be able to then choose from ones in my stash so these ones are thickers and they I think they're the Maggie Holmes ones that I got in my wild hair kit. So I've just used those to spell out the words love this place and I've separated the words so that they kind of go around the photos. And I've chosen a tag that's from a Maggie Holmes cut apart and a doily just to go behind my photos. And I've cut out a green label to go onto the photo itself. This piece that says best day is from a different Maggie Holmes cut apart sheet. And I'm just digging through my DIY embellishments um, and there's a blog post where I explain how I made these. I didn't film it because it's a very long process and the steps are fairly basic. Um, so I'll link in the description box below to the blog post where you can find out about that. I've also added on my one lone ampersand paperclip which was from the Studio Calico Lost River document kit that I had. I don't have many pieces in my kit that are actually from that kit, but um, that was one of them, so I've put that in. And another little DIY embellishment at the top that says enjoy. So I've just sped this up because it's just me sticking everything down with double-sided tape. And for some reason, well, no, I do know the reason, I hadn't scrapped in quite a while when I did this layout um, because we'd been away and I was a little bit rusty so I was just really slow. <laughs> I was kind of in a bit of a daze. It was taking me a long time to make any sorts of decisions so I have had to speed this up quite a bit. <laughs> um, so these are just simple stories. Stickers, word stickers. So I'm adding on to this green um, splodge. Field notes, go where the wind takes you and amazing. Um, and I decided to just add those in and add in a label that says the Giants Causeway just so you know where we were um, and I'm going to add my journaling onto the back of this tag um, I didn't want to do it on the background that was already there so I'm just sticking it onto some white cards so that I can do my journaling on there 
um, and because I've left some space behind that top photo I'm able to slip that in um, as hidden journaling so I'm pleased with how this layout's come together I'm not overly confident with two photo layouts so I am happy with how this one's turned out do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll leave links in the description box below to the blog post um, so you can check out everybody else's take on this challenge and subscribe for new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, although at the minute there's lots, lots more than that. <laughs> Thanks for watching.